Damn, this music is bop. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sonic CD. I know that was kind of a awkward pause, but, um... I have a question for y'all. If you've played Sonic CD, you're just, like, any level from Sonic CD, really. Like, what's your favorite level, like, purely based off a of soundtrack? For me, if it was purely soundtrack, I'd want to say Quartz Quadrant, maybe? Maybe start a speedway? I think I want to go to the past and show it off. Whee! Now look at that, I'm already at the end of the level. That's, that was fast. Huh. I mean... I kind of want to record as much as possible now just to have videos out, or prepared. Because summer for me is coming to an end, and I know I've talked about this in one or two videos now, but I'm going to be going back to school very soon. And because of that, I'll be much too busy to just sit down and record whenever. So my videos are going to be more apart than they are. Then essentially, it's not going to be daily uploads anymore. that is, is that to win. It'll be highly anticipated and then, and then by the time next summer comes around, my channel will have grown some more and hopefully there'll be more people here and then they'll have these videos to watch. There's a little time capsule till Ah, fuck. Until I'm able to return to regular uploads and recordings. And again, like, I'll try to record whenever I can. I may be able to squeeze out a few videos a month. I, I might be able to stick to one a week or a few a week. Which, if I can do that, I mean, that would be fucking fantastic. Oh, why didn't I go? Uh, that one spring. Or that one wall is always what screws me up. that's just the way it is and that's just something I'm gonna have to work through for a while. Because, I mean, my audience isn't that big anyway. I mean, by the time that, like, I start getting, like, large numbers of people watching my video, it's gonna be... I'm, I'm already gonna be probably out of school by then, constantly uploading, so it's a job just to keep me afloat until YouTube starts working out. But again, like, I just have a lot of fun recording. And you know, I gotta say, I think this is that, um, Porch Quadrant and Start of Speedway are some of the few times when the bad feature is better than the good one. It's like, not only aesthetically, but also like, musically. I feel like the bad feature is better than the good feature, and even the standard version. Oh my gosh. Well, now comes... I mean... I think last episode I was in the middle of talking about, um... Like, the zone balancing and the bosses of the classic Sonic games. And like, you know, Sonic 1, the bosses are alright. They all have their thing. But, CD bosses, they're all pathetic. Like, this in the Metal Sonic fight is as best as it gets. And as far as Sonic 2, they, the bosses are definitely better. 
and, um, you know, because you have a drill, I don't know what it's called, but it's the drill thing. That was okay. And then, you know, all the bosses, they're good to okay. The Carnival Night boss, I mean, it, 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 it's, a, it's much more of a pinball boss. Like, if you took the pinball from from this... The, oh, wacky work, then. Right about this. But anyways, if you took the pinball fight from CD and Collision Chaos and mixed it with the pinball fight from... Casino Night Zone and Sonic 2, I think you would have on your hands the greatest pinball boss in all of Sonic history. Because, um, it's again, the Sonic 2, Sonic 2 Casino Night boss felt more like a pinball boss. Okay, good. I, I've never liked Rocky Workbench, and I've always wondered just who in Sega thought that this was a well-designed zone. I mean, just randomly being bounced throughout the entire fucking stage is not well. Where they go to the past, I guess. Oh no, I went to the future. But, um, one thing I definitely do remember is Wacky Workbench was a bitch to get, um, the good future in. Like, it was absolutely terrible. And, like, gee, I wonder why that was. Oh no, that's taking me down to the bottom, isn't it? Yep. Wait, then where does it want me to go if I can't go... You know, it's funny. I where the hell do I go? I mean, Sonic gave me think, okay, you know, just go right. But going right's not working. So what do you do when you can't go right? Okay, you just keep going. Oh, thank lord. No! You fucked it, you motherfucker! I mean, doesn't this just, like, reek of 90s? I mean, the intense music, the flashing colors. Hey, yeah, you can tell this was a game made in the 90s. Ugh. Thank God we'll... I mean, like... And I'm pretty sure I mentioned this when I was... Dang, I need to finish my Sonic 4 playthroughs, don't I? I mean, I got six videos, three each. But, um... Also, am I the only one that thinks it's stupid that they put the past sign and the, um, generator right next to each other? Are they generating? Not like challenging, terrible, just terrible. Like bad level design. But this is a good way to go to the past. Which I do want to show off.
Am I the only one that thinks that Wacky Work Bench Past is worse than any other... I was right at the end anyway, so I didn't have to, but... God awful! I just think Wacky Work Bench in general is god awful. I mean, now I remember thinking that them bringing back Oil was terrible. But this is by far a worse fate. Like, imagine if they brought back Wacky Workbench for its Sonic CD representation, instead of, like, Metallic Madness. But speaking of which, Metallic Madness Act 3 is something to go through. Like, I'm just throwing that out there now, because they can be another bitch. Hey, man, why are you doing this? Oh no, and I forgot the boss is terrible. Like, even. Like. Like, I mean, you can't even argue it's not that bad of a boss. It is. in every way worse. <sighs> oh, now the sp spikes start dropping. Ah, oh, fuck! Yeah, you're supposed to stand on the one that... Oops. Fuck's sake. See, now, I think this is the reason why most people don't like the three-act system for Sonic games. Two acts. The most boring shit ever. Oh, and of course the fire does actually hurt you. Also, am I the only one who finds both Japanese and US boss fight musics unnor- just strangely disturbing? I mean, I mean it, I truly do find both versions of the boss being, for some reason, just completely disturbing. Again, this is just the most pathetic shit ever. Why did Sega look at this and say, yeah, that's okay? I mean, the least they could have done was, like, make us get to the top and then have to hit him a few extra times and not just once. I mean, in the Sonic 1 fight, sometimes it could take you forever. Ah, oh, sort of speedily, but I gotta, but I gotta leave it here for the next one. Well, I guess I could try to direct. Nah, I better leave it. Alright, this is where I am leaving it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and comment down below what you thought of today's video. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing, and it's completely free, and you can always unsubscribe later. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!